Mark. Welcome to another of my 2015 Tab Max S upgrade videos. This is going to be another cool update. This came in the mail today from uh, Amazon. It's a Victron Smart Shunt. Um, this device, and that's all it is, you got a couple wires in there, and this device. What this device does is it connects to the battery minus on this lug and to your system minus on this plug. It just goes in your battery box, just like that. This transmits the data that it sees from your battery. What this will do is it will transmit via Bluetooth, um, just like that propane sensor that I put in. It'll transmit to Bluetooth to my cell phone everything that's happening in my battery how much is charging, how much is discharging, how much every device runs. It'll tell me the percentage of my battery, what my battery percentage left is. It'll tell me the time it's going to take to finish charging at a current rate. It's going to tell me the time it, it's going to run at the current discharge rate before it gets to zero. I mean, really spectacular. Um, this is called a smart shunt. This guy runs 500 amps, so when I um, if I ever decide to upgrade my batteries, I can I can do that. Um, it, it's compatible with lithium. It's it's really nice, um, um, future proof in that way. So it's basically that simple. I'm going to pull all the wires off of my negative terminal and put them here. I'm going to connect this post to my negative terminal. I'm going to take one of those little red wires. One of these guys that comes in the box and plug it to the positive terminal then I just go down and download the app and I'm good to go really cool I can't um, it would probably take me a half hour to tell you all the features of this Victron smart shunt but um, uh, it just make the video too long if you're interested in it just do a Google search on Victron energy smart shunt 500 amps um, and you'll you read a, a bunch about it, but I'm really excited about getting this hooked up. So let's get out there and do it. So here we are back out at my 2015 Max S trailer, my tab, inside my uh, front bucket. I'm take off the battery cover. And there are the wires. This is my positive leads. These are my negative leads. This is that shunt. I am going to install that shunt right right there. I have more than enough room in the top of the uh, battery box. You see how tall that battery box is? I have more than enough room to do that. I'm going to connect. I take all the wires that are here on this negative lead and move them over here and connect this lead back to the negative lead. Now, pretty much that simple. Then we'll just take a little red wire and connect from the positive here to these positive and we're done. So um, to do that, one of the things that I need is I need to um, make sure that this is going to be held in place tightly. And one of the ways I'm going to do that is that I'm going to connect this lead to this lead with a nice piece of thick metal. This is aluminum um, T411 aluminum. I'm going to drill a hole there, drill a hole there, bend it so that these two bolts actually hold this guy in place. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this, bend it, um, and so it'll fit there. And we'll be back when that's done. Okay, 
here is my custom strap and bracket and it'll go I'm gonna sit it down take off all of the negative wires off the battery take the nut off take the wires off put my take the top nut off of two battery minus like that put my strap on so do all this with one hand get the nuts and stuff together put this strap on just like that I put the nut back on this side that and you can see now how that's that's not going anywhere I can't move that I can't do anything with it we tighten that down tighten that down now all of the wires that were on the negative side go here that strap back go on that. I'm going to go ahead and... Okay, there we go. Got the negative of the battery tied to the negative of the shunt. All the other wires that used to go to the negative hooked to the other side of the shunt. Last thing that I need to do is connect a positive wire from there to the positive terminal in order to power the shunt. Then I'll go ahead, download the app, and do a typical Bluetooth sync, and we'll be done. Very okay, good. there is the finished install. My new strap holds it down, tied to the uh, battery minus. All the other wires that were on the battery terminal are now on the two system minus cable. This is the riddle. See a little red power cord? There's a inline fuse right here runs around and that powers the transmitter. If you look, see how that Bluetooth is, the Bluetooth light is blinking. That means we're up and ready to sync. So I'm going to go ahead and put the cover on here, sync up, and we should know what's going on in the battery. That's excellent. There we go. See you later. All buttoned up, strapped back on, everything's cool. I've synced to my uh, to my phone. The app looks great. I'm going to go ahead and upload a couple of screenshots for you so you'll be able to see a little bit about what's going on. But like I say, this uh, Victron shunt does more features than I can shake a stick at or even start to describe here on, uh, on this video. So go ahead, go to the Victron site, um, look up this this device. I'll put a link in the uh, description of the video so you can do that and see all the cool things that this does. Anyway, we'll see you on the road and now I know <laughs> what's going on with my battery. The cool thing here is is that that's a Bluetooth monitor on my battery and that's a Bluetooth monitor on my propane so that from the same cell phone for the same place I can tell a lot about what's going on here and I didn't have to see how easy that install went it only took me about 30 minutes I don't have to run any cables or any display or anything into the trailer it's all done right here um, really cool anyway see you on the road bye bye